Since its inception in 2008, Furkan Academy Bolingbrook has grown into a vital asset of the Muslim community and Chicago Southwest suburbs, providing quality Islamic education with a pioneering curriculum that integrates intensive Quranic memorization and an emphasis on the mastery of classical Arabic language along with state standard subjects. Okay, looking at page 344, we were looking at ecosystems. Which ecosystem do you see on page 344? What is that, Fozan? For state standard subjects, the school follows McGraw Hill's recognized curriculum and employs fully certified teachers. It's kind of going to be like a persuasive writing, but we're going to make a poster out of it. You're going to be um, describing to people why they should read the book. That's why it is called satellite. What is it called? Satellite. Because it is moving around an other big object. Moon is small. What I like about my science class is that we could experiment new things and today we're, we're learning about the moon. Um, in the Japan flood, um, in the assembly we were all talking about that we are going to help them, we are going to send them canned foods and when we do that the, the whole like homes and environment will be good then they could like have a better life project. The best project I like was the fossil one. We got to make our own fossils. First, you take dough and like roll it and smash it and make it flat. Then when I went to um, Quran Academy, I get to learn Quran and pray five times a day. The best way to connect children with the Quran is by memorizing it and teaching them the classical Arabic language so they can make, make the, consciously the choice of being Muslims uh, than uh, just being Muslims by birth. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, students who attended the Furqan Academy for the past three years are able to write uh, read and understand Arabic. Uh, we hope, inshallah, that the students will be able to memorize a good portion of the Quran by the time they are done studying here and at the same time progress in the secular studies that they are doing. Furqan Academy also offers a separate full-time hips track where students can opt out of the state curriculum to concentrate fully on memorizing the entire Quran before rejoining the regular school curriculum. <laughs> Currently we have nine full-time HIF students memorizing the Qur'an, inshallah, uh, there will be more in the future, but we're emphasizing really on uh, Tajweed and revision. And in the Qur'an Academy we have Arabic, which makes us understand the Qur'an more and builds our relationship with the Qur'an and makes us closer to Allah. What I like about the school is there's also, we get to learn Arabic, and I think that's really good because you can understand the Qur'an and actually know what you say. I like the subjects and my friends. And I like to study I like Khan because the teachers are nice and they and they give me less homework and I have a lot of friends in school and I memorize two dresses. Uh, inshallah I wanna become a Hafiz inshallah, maybe a alim. I want to become a doctor, and I want to be a brain surgeon when I grow up, 
Inshallah, and I'm going to memorize the whole Quran. From his humble beginnings in Masjid al-Islam, Bolingbrook, for Khan Academy, with the unrelenting support of the Muslim community, has alhamdulillah moved into its own building adjacent to the masjid in 2010. So this is really the result of a lot of hard work from the Al Furqan Foundation team and the Furqan Academy team, and particularly the donors' contribution and support. Why I came from a Muslim nation, Muslim country. Yes, we had a secular system, but my parents were Muslim, and here's my daughter, her mother is a convert, and she is memorizing more surahs than myself. I'm very blessed that uh, the school came to my neighborhood, or, you know, I'm about 15 minutes away from the school, and alhamdulillah, um, when I first came to the first open house, um, I didn't realize what I was getting into, and alhamdulillah, my kids... Brothers and sisters, are we believers? Don't say inshallah. That is the wrong answer. When you are asked, are you a believer? You say, yes, I am. Didn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promise us that your rizq, I will provide your rizq from above seven heavens. It is already have been written for you. Islamic education, Islamic schools is not a choice as is being put forward. I think it is the necessity of the times. And if we do not do something now, you're going to start losing more of our generations with all the exposure that is being put out in the public schools. I mean, our children are already exposed to the broader environment, you know, everywhere. You go outside, you are, television, everything is exposed. You're give, we're trying to give the children what they get in a public education system, plus the dini side is what we, we aspire and what we want to do. But obviously, if we don't have the right resources, then where are we going to, how are we going to provide the same quality of secular education as you're getting in a public school? We need the resources. If you look at most, all our teachers, alhamdulillah, they're certified teachers. So we've been blessed to get the teachers to work for the kind of wages that we are offering them. But you have to not only, that sacrifice of the teachers is not enough. It's not enough to build domes. It's not enough to build minarets. It's not enough to build elegant mosques to think that Islam is going to survive in America. If we don't get our act together as families, if we don't get our act, if you don't get your act together as mothers, if you don't get your act together as fathers, we're all in deep trouble. The total uh, shortfall this year is about two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Of that, about one hundred fifty thousand dollars is the operational deficit we have, and a hundred thousand dollars is a qardi hasana that we have to repay in June. So we hope that today um, we will be able to achieve a target of at least two hundred thousand dollars in order to meet our total obligation. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>